It's it's still coming out. It's still coming out. Dude, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome back, riders. How was your ride? I am completely naked in this bathroom stall. No, I was shit in my pants because <gasps> I was so nervous. To be like, hey, I just... So, and anyway, that's when I started jerking off to dwarf porn. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> anyway... Welcome to the jam with Brock and Dan. I'm Brock. I'm Dan. And this is our podcast. And uh, we're going to talk about some stuff. We've been working on this for a long time. And I think this might be episode number one. one. Numero uno. Oh, numero uno. Uh, yo think, quiero right? su ponocha. <laughs> ha, hell yeah. I don't know if I said that right, but if I did, let me know. <laughs> so today we are going to be talking about some embarrassing stories. Yes. And I think you guys might enjoy it. And if you guys have any embarrassing stories after this podcast, please comment below. Let us know. Yeah, because or just we come love on the laugh. show. Come on the show. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, come on the show. If you're fun. <laughs> if you're fun. You got to be fun. You got to tell embarrassing, vulnerable stories. Like Vulnerable. Because uh, what I'm about to tell you guys is uh, pretty personal. You're going to get to know Dan in a way you never thought you'd ever get to know Dan. Yeah. But by the way, Dan, who Fuck. are you? Do these people even know who we are? No, I'm Dan Gardner. What do you do, Dan? What, well, you don't have to say where you work or nothing, but like, what's your hobbies? Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I guess I could hear Shit. the water sloshing in there. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I don't know. I I honestly can't even tell you because you know, getting prepared for this was. Has been a lot. Yeah. You know, working 10 to 12 hours a day is, you know, plus being a dad. That's too many hours a day. Oh, dude, it's terrible. But I feel bad being away from my, I don't, my dog that long. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess this is my, yeah, my new hobby. Yeah. We're you podcasters. Know? Yeah. That's what we do for a living. We make money doing this. Well, I paid myself, but <laughs> we're professionals. If you get paid, you're a professional. Well, anyway. Yeah, yeah whatever. That's Dan. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about him. He's a rock star. No, I'm not. Why do you say that? I am not a rock star. Because, like, dude, like I always thought you were a rock star. I was like, oh, that's Dan. He's a fucking rock star. Uh, okay. He's I fronted was, a bunch of bands before. I was in some bands. Yeah. That's it. Musician. I'm a musician. And he's not a failed musician either. Like, he's had success in music. A little bit. Not not too crazy. He even did some R&B shit we are listening to on the way back from... Uh, Changa. Changa. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I did play you that. Yeah, that almost turned me on. Oh, shoot. Dude, I was in the back seat about to Boy. crank my hog. Am I, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> did he say crank his hog? Hog crank. Hey, by the way, I forgot to ask you. What happened to the nice hog on your toilet? Do you? Oh, well, I did a deep clean on my toilet. Yeah. yeah all right, so underneath my toilet seat. When, when you, you lift, lift it up. up. <laughs> it says, nice hog. <laughs> And uh, I just cleaned my toilet, like <laughs> deep cleaned, and uh, I had to take it off. I might write something else on there. Yeah, you should. Not so nice, hog. <laughs> Put that thing away. <laughs> yeah, just be like, yikes. Yeah. With like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just say yikes with like two eyeballs. Like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's a good one. I should, oh, yeah. yeah. That'll throw people off guard. It would. Like, nice hog, the, I think, did. Like, what the hell? Anyway. Dan, he's you know musician, um, podcaster extraordinaire. I love saying that word. <laughs> what a fitting opportunity to say that word. Talking about my good old friend Dan Gardner. You bet your bottom dollar. My name is Brock Gleba. Tell him about yourself, Brock. Um, I am a guy that works in a factory who has a lot of hobbies. I like skateboarding. I like playing guitars. I like collecting cassette tapes he does I'm, he does i'm on the spectrum i think <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what other person you know that collects cassette tapes come on that's such an old I media mean, i mean <laughs> i also collect vhs tapes oh wow <laughs> we're off to a great start yes welcome to the jam with brock and dan you bet your bottom dollar. you read it right there see that fancy sign i put that up there you like it i do like that I do like that. It's kind of cute. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Let's not dwell too much on the on the signage here, but we we got uh, a topic to discuss here, and that's embarrassing stories. Embarrassing stories. And I'll tell you, Dan, I had a hard time thinking of an embarrassing story because I'm the type of guy that just owns my shit. Like okay. someone sees my hog out there, I'll just be like, "That's it. I ain't gonna get. I might get a little red in the face, but." I, that's it? That's it? You just don't care? No, dude. Dude, <laughs> I get embarrassed. I'm sure, like, like, uh, like my, my good friend Cam, he, he probably know all kinds of embarrassing stories about me. He probably does. But I'm going to think of something, and I think I have a story that relates to yours because you kind of gave me an idea of what you're going <laughs> to talk about, and I think you'll love this because I can talk about that all day long. Okay, okay. So I'm going to let you go first. All right. Is this, is this the most embarrassing story? You've no, ever no, had? no, no. Okay, so we'll just, get. It's just on there. It's just it. There's a there's a few of them. Oh, okay. but they all involve me using the restroom. Oh, or lack okay. thereof. Or lack thereof. Okay. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about this all day. Which one I want to say, or which ones? Dude, you know, say them all. Well, when you say <laughs> restroom, you had my ears perked up under these shitty headphones. <laughs> <laughs> like what did someone say restroom the guy who has nice hog on his toilet seat got excited when yeah mentioned the restroom. yeah all right well all Let's right hear it. <sighs> let me take a drink talk talk a all little right. bit so we decided to do this podcast because it's fun it's fun to do bad things i got a friend and he smokes the cigarettes <laughs> you ever see you ever see that video of the little kid that got busted for stealing his grandma's car and fucking wrecking it He's like, they're like, why'd you do it? He's like, I just want to do fun. Hood, hood rat shit I want to do friends. hood rat stuff with my friends. I love that. It's I fun to do that. bad things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a friend. I picked him up and he smokes the cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes. Okay. Well, let, let's start off with the first one ever. So this is the first instance of? The first incident that has ever happened to me going to the restroom. Okay. All right. I have, my fiance will tell you, like, I have the worst luck when it comes to dropping a deuce. Number two. Uh-huh. Going number two. So what, like, we you, all do it. It's fine. So, okay. We all do it. Everything is fine. Just act like it's a normal day. <laughs> Dude, I thought the doctor just takes it out of you. You, you, wait, you let it go yourself. I have to go to the doctor and they get like the syringe they use for like kids' cough syrup and they suck the poop right out. Like the nose thing? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, the booger your... sucker, it's the shit sucker. <laughs> or or shiz it, right? Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so um, I, I don't know how old I am at this time. I know I'm a child. Like young child or like teenager? A young child. Okay. I was not a teenager so yet. So five to ten. It, five to ten years okay. old, okay? But I remember this because it scarred me. And I still think about this daily when I shit, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. You're not going to believe this, but this really this really happened. So we live in a city called Fremont. Yes. Great and, town. Uh, Where people come first, apparently, according to the sign when you go into town. But yeah. yeah, apparently. Oh, yeah. Um, Allegedly. So I was a child, five to ten years old. I had to drop a deuce. So I go to the, we're at Little Caesars. Let me back up here. We're at Little Caesars when Little Caesars were, was over in Potter Village. Oh, so that's when like the hepatitis breakout, didn't they have that at the Little what? Caesars there? You didn't know that? That's why they shut it down, dude. Dude, I did not. And like 10 years later, they built the new one on State Street. I did not know that at yeah, all. Yeah, dude. So you. Wow. Man, that blows doctor, my mind. <laughs> that Little Caesars get you, get you fucked up. Well, it was after church. Oh. So my my family always met there on Sundays. Uh, little Caesars, little like a little buffet, little area, you know. They had a buffet. Hell yeah, dude. Dude. Yeah, you could go up there get like a salad and, and stuff. Yeah. Man. Oh, it was great. It was great. It was a great time. Those are like one of those childhood memories. Yeah. You know, that, core memories. The core memories. But this specific day, <laughs> I had to poop, and so I went to the bathroom at Little Caesars. At Little Caesars. All right. I'm in the shitter and I'm minding my own business. One of the workers 
walks in on me. You didn't lock the door? I apparently did not. And you're just sitting there on the toilet? I'm sitting there on the toilet like... Dude, if a little Caesars... <laughs> you know, like, I'm all... Dude, bro, I'm freaked out at this point. I'm freaked out. I'm like... Huh. <laughs> the first time anybody has ever walked in on me. Okay? Oh. So I didn't know what to do, so I froze. Covered yeah. my junk. I'm like... <laughs> Was he you just know? staring at you? Dude, he shuts the door, opens it back up, and goes, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave these right here. He puts toilet paper rolls oh. behind me. And he reaches Wait, he behind me, bro. He reaches be- I'm like, oh, You no. went in the bathroom? Oh no. Bro, he was his Dude, that gets you arrested nowadays. I know. Dude, Man, I shit know. It was different back then. I know. Literally his arm. Like his armpit would have touched my shoulder. So if like he when you're getting a haircut bit. and like Dude, the, the barber's like touching you. Yeah, Except it was. <laughs> you're taking. I shit. was so terrified that I when he walked out, I was like, "What just happened?" I don't think he's allowed to do this. <laughs> I don't think he's allowed to do this. <laughs> like I was fucking scared, dude. Dude. So what happened after that? I didn't tell anybody. You also like no, I didn't tell anybody because I was so embarrassed and I was so freaked dude, out. Dude, I don't think that's embarrassing. I think you need to you need to talk to someone. <sighs> I <is> don't, <laughs> dude. I don't know, man. I don't know. I I didn't tell anybody. I really until didn't. now. No, no, no. Oh, I was about to say the whole fucking world knows now. We're all five people watching. Yeah, but no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't know what to do, man. I was a child. Dude. I was like ten years old. Okay. I thought this was going to be like, oh, you shit your pants. But like, this is like sad. No, 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 no. Check this out. <laughs> I'm not done. This was the first incident. Oh. This is where it all started. Oh, okay. so now you go down the whole shit highway. Yeah. The shit highway the shit for shit sure. Town. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. So what I'm about to say is very embarrassing for me, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> this is how you uh, you you cope with that. Yeah, this is I, <laughs> therapeutic. <laughs> telling therapeutic. telling strangers about. The- I'm just gonna tell everybody. Okay, all right. So fast forward a few years. Okay, I'm maybe 12, 13, probably 12, 13. Okay, and me and my family are at Cedar Point. And my cousin JD, Jay and, Dizzle, yeah, me and him were sitting. Do you know where? Uh, if anybody has ever been to Cedar Point, yes, world um, famous. If you know where Snake River Falls is, yeah, dude, I love that. Ride. Or no, no, is it? it it's the big boat. Is it Whitewater Landing or Snake no, River it's, Falls? Uh, Cedar Falls or some shit. Well, back then, like in the nineties, something, something Rapids, Cedar Rapids. No, that's Iowa. <laughs> anyways, anyways, it was the one with the big boat. Where yeah. it has a big old then drop. It splashes at the yeah, end. Yeah, splashes and people can go on the bridge. Snake River Falls. Snake River yeah. Falls. That's right. Yeah, okay. So Snake River Falls, okay? So we're on the the little walkway, not the bridge, but the walkway. And my stomach is gurgling. Okay. I'm like Brewing. Oh my God. Like a witch's pot. Yeah, the bubble guts. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? Why here? Why now? <laughs> you know, like why? Why is this happening? Dude, I always so, say when nature calls, you got to answer. Damn. Well, I didn't because I was also <laughs> embarrassed to go to a public bathroom again what? after oh, yeah. my first incident with Little Caesars. Because okay? you're fucking traumatized. <laughs> Dude. So. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> what happens is I try to let out a fart. Okay. I try to fart. I know where this goes. Not happening. Not happening. He's having a hard time with this. This is he's really being vulnerable for you guys right now. I am telling you, when I say diarrhea <laughs> just would not <laughs> stop coming out of oh my, my ass. God. I tried to stop it. I tried to But you know, you're not even I, in the bathroom? No, bro. I'm I'm sitting down. Oh, I should have said that. I'm sitting down on the little walkway with JD and I'm telling oh. JD that I have to shit, right? <laughs> It's not, I'm, I'm like, I'm not going here. I'm not, I'm going to hold it. Dude, you want the home bowl advantage. Right. I want the home <laughs> bowl <laughs> advantage. No, no. <laughs> but yes, I want the home bowl advantage, okay? <laughs> so 
I tried to let out a fart, and diarrhea just kept com- coming out of my ass, okay? Day in River Falls. Mind you, I had on basketball shorts. Oh, so it was coming down the leg, brown. Uh-uh. No, it stayed in there? Check this out. I wore boxer briefs. Oh. So I might have had on whitey tidies, actually. It was the 90s, dude. Everyone wore, everyone wore whitey <laughs> tidies back then. But uh, it, like, it like held form. Yeah. You know, it like kept form. So like it was like a little bowl of uh... <laughs> <laughs> shit, right? So I'm over here going like What do you do? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> I'm like I'm like this. I'm like standing up like JD, 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 JD. It's it's still coming out. It's still coming out. Dude, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to yell. And yeah. I tell my mom, she's like, what's going on? What's going on? I shit my pants. I'm like, I pooped. I pooped. <laughs> you know, like, I, I freaking pooped. <laughs> so my mom and my parents were, my parents were cheap. You know, they, yeah. they bought us passes to, you know, and it, it, I'm grateful for that. But they didn't, they were like, uh-uh, <laughs> we paid, we're staying. Oh, dude. Okay. We're staying. No way. Oh, way. They just made way. it fucking simmer in that, fucking marinate in time your out. poop? No, time out. Time out. Oh, Here we no. go. Sorry, I was about to critique your parents' parenting. I don't have any kids. That means I know everything about raising kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I had to do, okay? Dude, don't poop. I'm not going to poop. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm not going to poop. I've already went like three times today. I'm, good. Yeah. I'm good for the rest of the day. But anyways, uh, so what I had to do to get cleaned up was absolutely the most embarrassing moment of my life Oh, because I could feel it start dripping down my thigh. Oh, okay. No. So I had basketball shorts on. Okay. So... I'm gonna take my head my headphones off. Real all quick. right, I'm all gonna right. show you what to do. Okay, all right. I'm gonna show you what I did. Yeah, this is a, he's teaching us here. <laughs> yeah, he's I'm gonna show us what you. to do when we got a, a fucking. If you pair shit of your undies. pants in in a public place and it's a bowl of water, poop water in your pants. Yeah, this okay. is what you do. This is what you do. You ready? So I had I had to just clench. I had to clench my shorts like <laughs> like this. you're wringing it out. Yeah, <laughs> and I had to walk. <laughs> Is it spilling all the whole way? Oh, bro. I had to walk all the way to the bathroom, okay? Dude, there's probably a trail. A little trail of shit. Well, I, I don't know. I, okay, so Hansel here's, and Gretel. here's the thing. I was not focused on that. I was focusing on getting to the bathroom, which, mind you, if you know where Snake River Falls is, let us know in the comments. Also, it's around. The bathroom is all the way around. Like, it's a good walk. Yeah. Okay? So I'm like. People are like, what's wrong with this kid? Does he have like, what's that? Uh, you got like fucked up legs. Like OJ Simpson had it. <laughs> they probably thought don't, you were don't disabled. Don't get us canceled. <laughs> <laughs> don't get us canceled. What, OJ Simpson? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, listen. So, so I had to walk with my shorts. I mean, I was with all my power. Like clenching those things so nothing would fall out, right? <laughs> You're fucking determined. I'm determined. Veins popping out of your little kid head. Bro, I get into the bathroom finally. My uncle, JD's dad, my uncle says, give me your shorts. Your mom's going to clean them out in the girl's bathroom. <laughs> what? Dude, so all the girls are going to know. Yeah, like what? <laughs> what the fuck in the is sink? happening? I am completely naked in this bathroom stall. Okay. Oh my god. Because she had to wash my shirt too, because my shirt Yeah, it ran up your back like a baby. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> so dude, I could talk about shit all day long. It was so embarrassing, dude. dude I'm start- completely naked in this fucking uh this bathroom stall and I was scared for my life that I was gonna get touched. Dude. Dude, that's sad. Listen, here's the thing. <laughs> that's terrible. Well, that's the shit that was going on in my mind. You <laughs> yeah. know, I'm like, oh my god, someone's gonna someone's like gonna see bring me, me naked and be like, ooh, ooh. you know what I mean? Someone's like, gonna bring me toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna rub their fucking right, crazy armpit on Right, because of what? Me. Because of what happened? Right. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm freaked out at this point. I'm I'm sad. I'm crying. I'm fucking. You know, I'm just upset. Well, yeah, you're like this place with thousands and thousands yeah. of people. <laughs> and here I go, just diarrhea in my pants. Yeah. So 
my mom washes my shorts and my underwear. She threw the underwear away after she couldn't clean it out, obviously, you know. So I had to go commando the rest of the day at Cedar oh, Point. Oh, dude, the chub rub? Yeah. Ah. Okay, so check this out. She says to me, get on Snake River Falls, wash yourself <laughs> off. I love your mom. <laughs> She's awesome. She said, wash yourself off. Dude, I said, are you? Mom, that's what I mom really? I, I see this cute ass girl. Oh. Okay. I'm like smitten. She's in the front <laughs> seat. I'm right behind her. She don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> she looks she looks behind like like to like check me out, okay? Yeah. She sees a little li- a little stain on my oh. white sock. Oh She's no. She's like, "What's that?" I said, "It's mud." <laughs> it's mud. I stepped in mud. Yeah, it's his that's, that's it's all Dan's I, mud. I, that's all I could say, dude. That's literally all I could say cuz I was like, "What am I going to say?" Yeah. Oh, I pooped. No, I should be like, "I oh. shit my pants." I was blowing mud. Yeah. I was jumping in a mud puddle. You didn't see that mud puddle on, on the causeway? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're so, a loser. <laughs> so my mom had to literally, like, she, she like, made me get on that ride two or three times just to, like, make sure I was clean. Yeah. And we we spent the rest of the day, We I think we left at, like, 10 or 11 o'clock at night because we watched the light show and all that shit. Best fireworks show, I think. Oh, yeah. Point has. And the music was phenomenal yeah yeah dude so yeah so anyways that was my and the most embarrassing story but i had to tell the little caesars one yes, to lead up to this. yeah yeah but i have plenty more you ever see that movie what the f- is this brock i i don't know man it just kind of happens dude we gotta clean this shit up well we can't do a show like this what do we that. even do i don't have a trash can you know what this is a great time to shout out our sponsor rosebud cleaning company Rosebud Cleaning Company at 909 Birdseye Boulevard, Fremont, Ohio, 43420. You bet your bottom dollar. Because guess what? What? Ready? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Wow. Whoa. Jeez, they really do a good job over there at Rosebud Cleaning Company at 909 Birdseye Boulevard, Fremont, Ohio, 43420. Wow. If you guys need something cleaned up, I can get a hold of them. You know who to call. Rosebud Cleaning Company at where? 909 Birdseye Boulevard, Fremont, Ohio, 43420. And thank you, Rosebud Cleaning Company, for, for sponsoring, sponsoring us. The Jam with Brock and Dan. I'm Brock. I'm Dan. And back to the show. Dude. But we'll we'll share those in a different, yeah. for a different episode. Well, since you started this off with a shit story, I'm going to bless everybody with a shit story. And this one takes place, I was about 12 or 13 so my mom smoked cigarettes, right? She'd leave like fucking half cigarettes in the ashtray. So me and my friends would like steal them when she was off at work. And we'd like, yeah, dude, you got any cigarette butts? Dude, I got a whole bunch of them. Whole bunch. Because, you know, smoking cigarettes was cool. Back then, yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> so my mom, I think she's taking a nap or something. She's working midnight. So I was like, dude, I want one of her cigarette butts, dude. So I'm nervous as fuck. This is the first time I like you know, smoked a cigarette butt without my friends, you know, yeah. they, they kind of give you that security when you're with your friends, group of friends. Right. They, they, well, they got your back. Yeah. Like, D- dude, it's all right, man. It's all right. I remember but, that shit. Yeah. But I was by myself. Oh, so I was okay. Like, hey, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a cigarette butt. One of these like shorter ones. Well, a couple of them, maybe. All right. Three. <laughs> and I'm going to go out to the garage and kind of crouch behind the car. And then I'm going to light them up and smoke them. So, I go out to the car. I got the cigarette butts. I sneak them out there, you know, trying to not make any noise. I don't want my mom to know I'm going out there. Right, of course. And sorry, mom, you're about to hear uh, how I stole your cigarette butts. Oh shoot! <laughs> Does she not know this? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it has a good payoff, mom. You'll be happy to hear the payoff. So I go out to the the garage. I I hide behind the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Would end up being my first car, and. uh I was sitting there, I was lighting them. Ooh, the first one, you know how you get that rush, the nicotine rush? Yeah. And you're like, I was like, damn. You know, I was feeling jittery, and, like, I light up the next one. I'm like, nice. So I'm really, like, jittery from the nicotine. <laughs> and, like, I feel something running down my leg. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, Did there's you piss? mud. There's mud. Somehow I fell in mud. Oh, I thought you were going to say you shit your pants, too. At least that's what my brain 
you know, perceived it as. But no, I was shitting my pants because <gasps> I was so nervous. And then you you had, shit your pants because you were nervous about smoking dude, cigarettes? Dude, yeah, I was so nervous. And I was sitting there smoking them. And I shit my pants because the nicotine plus the nerves. <laughs> dude, That'll get you. Dude, yeah. The but, cigarette is, I remember when I smoked cigarettes, that is an instant laxative. Yeah, dude. And uh, I don't, like, I had to figure out how to get back inside and clean it up. But I wasn't really embarrassed by it. I was like, fuck. Well, because no know. one was around. No, like, I was worried my mom's going to be like, so why'd you shit your pants? <laughs> I'd be like, cigarettes? <laughs> oh, I, I smoked cigarettes in the garage. Uh, I, I stole pants. your cigarettes. Now <laughs> I pooped. But dude, somehow, somehow or other, I got inside, washed up. Nobody knew. Nobody oh, well, knew. that's good. Until but, now. But at least you were by yourself. Yeah, that's true. I was in a public... One the world's most well known amusement parks. Yeah. Like Cedar Point in America's rock and roller coast. Oh shit. I never worked there. My girlfriend worked there for a long time. Nice. I wonder if she operated a right. I didn't ask her. I should. You should. Because like, dude, all right, tell me why when you go to Cedar Point, you're getting on there. It sounds like, you know, the carnival operator. They go like <laughs> 200 feet. <laughs> Cedar Point, America's a rock and roller coast. Right on. Dude, they mumble that dude, shit. It's like, dude. what? What the fuck yeah, did what, you say? What happened? And here's the best part. You get back from this fucking crazy ride, you know, like Millennium Force or Top Thrill Dragster. Yeah. You know, you're, you're all rushed. And you get back, and they ask you a question. They're like, welcome back, riders. How was your ride? And everybody goes... What do they do? Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. It's like she fucking asked you a question and everybody goes, woo. Yeah. Why don't you say, like, it was you, great. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> I loved it. I loved every minute of it. It's like, hey, I just cooked you this dinner. How was it? Woo. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand why people do that. Just say, yeah, it was I don't good. It. But dude, that's a good point. Yeah. I never thought about it like that. Dude, because like, that's why? literally what, how was your ride, riders? Yeah. <laughs> oh it was all weird. right yeah all right i guess that's a good thing all right see you guys later on ne- to the next one next time someone asked you like hey how was this like, it was woo it was pretty woo it was woo <laughs> yeah all right it was woo i like that it was woo yeah i like that it was a little bit yeah but mostly <laughs> woo so <laughs> do you uh have you ever like yelled that out what woo no 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 i mean like if they asked you like did you ever say like, dude. "Oh, it was great"? Hey, it was great, dude. You know what's like funny? Like the back of the the back of the cart, like, "Hey, <laughs> every it <was> time, awesome. <laughs> it was woo." No, <laughs> it, no, every time I'm at like some kind of event or something, you know, like they'll try to hi- hype you up at concerts. Say, yeah, make some noise, you know. Yeah, like instead of going like, "Yeah," I go, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> and then I do it all the time, <laughs> like freaked out, like, ah! <laughs> "Make some noise, scream, <laughs> ah!" Dude, I like doing that. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So next time you're at a concert or something, they say, scream for me. Just go, ah! I probably won't go to a concert no more. Why not? Because incarceration messed me up. What, oh, did you go last year? Yeah. And it was terrible. Really? Yeah. What, it was, did it you was go the all the nights? Or? Just Saturday. I seen Limp Biscuit, And uh, my brother my brother and my sister-in-law, they, they bought me the tickets, right? Yeah. I drove. They bought the tickets. So, uh, I was just kind of like, all right, you know, I don't really like going to concerts, to be honest with you. I just never really have. It might have, it might be because I've played so many shows that I'm just like not into it no more. I don't know. But I'm just never like, oh, they're coming to town. Oh, all right. You know, I just never really, yeah, I, I, I don't know. But, uh, my brother wanted me to go with him. So we went. And what the fuck? What happened? Dude, I was trying to cue up something for you. I got a little special surprise for you. For me? Yeah. Sorry about that. No, no, that's my bad. What was that? <laughs> that was uh, some fucking short started playing. I'm trying to look up something for you. Oh, okay. But yeah, go ahead. Keep keep talking. <laughs> oh, no. Well, incarceration anyways. Uh, yeah. I thought the Pantera was there, the Pantera tribute. I have no idea. I don't like Pantera. What? I'm sorry, Brock. I know um, that you're gonna hate me for that, but no, it's okay. I mean, if you said you like you you hated uh, 
I don't know what's a band. If you hated Black Sabbath, I'd be like, dude, something's wrong with you. I don't listen to any That's fine of them. If that. you don't listen to them, but if you hate them, no, I wouldn't okay. say hate. Um, but anyways, so I'm watching this. I'm watching this band uh, incarceration. My sister in law passes out, hits the floor, like hits the ground, Brock. Really? Swear to God, I hear a thump, and I'm like, "What the hell was that?" You know, I, I look back behind me. She's laying on the ground. My brother's yelling like, "I need some help! I need some fucking help!" And I'm like, what What the fuck? What's going on? You know? And mind you, we're obviously it's a festival, so I'm just yeah. smoking joints. You know, I'm drinking Dude, there's my There's plenty boys. of those going around. Huh? Oh, for sure. Me and her both were just like sharing like all night until this. That dehydration hits you. Dude, it was so hot. There was people laying all over the floor, all over the ground, like pass out. Yeah. We go into this medic tent to get her checked out. She starts, you know you know throwing up and just obviously it's dehydration yeah obviously so um you got to keister some of those liquid ivs dude when you go in there just put them in your butt cheeks i'm telling you what that way you can sneak them into the venue it totally changed me and my brother's like whole mood we're just like it's just like downer now yeah like wow that happened yeah like oh shit it's like all right let's go home kind of ruins the whole vibe yeah but before we had to go home of course I have to shit. Again? Oh, no. You, you're poop shy. You don't like pooping in public. I do not. I hate it. Especially but I will. Especially those nasty-ass porta-potties. Oh, dude, it was so bad. It was so hot. I'm dripping sweat. I can't even feel the shit coming out of my ass because it's so hot. Cameron, uh, next time Cameron comes on, um, he'll tell you about porta-potties. Dude, I hate it. I hate <laughs> it. I hate it. Anyways, yeah, I don't... <clears throat> I don't think I'll ever go back to uh, Dude. Uh, a festival or maybe a, a small intimate show at like Frankie's or something, like a dive bar, you know what I mean? I but can tell you where you're going this summer and you don't really have a choice. Where? Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to force Dan, however however I can, I'm going to force him. Like He has no choice in the matter, but we have to. <laughs> He's going to Bull Bash. At Skatopia. Oh my gosh. And it's heaven on earth. Yeah, if you want to, like, die. Dude, I went two years in a row. I haven't died. I haven't even got injured. <sighs> I and don't I, know, man. I don't know about that place. Dude. It's, that place is, I don't know, man. I'm too old for that. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. I mean, you're right. You're right. Maybe call me a pussy. I don't care. I, Dude. I, just, I got, I got. Hey, I pay my own health insurance nowadays, my guy. So if <laughs> well, I get hurt or if I get like fucked up somehow, I can. I'm done for. I can guarantee you, you will see someone shoot a bottle rocket out of their bum. I'm sure I would. It might even be pointed at you, Dan. See, that's the shit. That's the shit right there. I, got I don't. I don't want nothing shooting at me so out of someone else's ass, dude. It's so. It's so. Fun. Like, how am I gonna block that? Like this? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> It's not going light speed, you know? Either way. (laughs) You'll see the trail coming, the sparks. (laughs) Just duck real quick. (laughs) The the only instance I I almost got blown up by a firework is uh, Saturday night at Bull Bash, which is like the big capper. They do a big-ass bonfire. Yeah. Fucking last year we flipped a pickup truck into it. (laughs) And everybody throw fireworks in there like mortars and stuff yeah see well, someone like, someone lit a mortar and threw it in a crowd of people that i was in <laughs> and he wants me to go <laughs> dude and he I, wants me to go there if you dude, it, bro you do not know me i am like a female i don't like to get dirty dude i don't like to get all fucked up yeah, like i'm gonna like convert you physically you're gonna be fine no dude, dude. no ask my fiance man she'll tell you Oh, I thought you were about to say, ask my fiance. She'll go. <laughs> <laughs> she probably would go. She probably would so go. So what you're saying she's... is she's got more balls. Oh, hell yeah. 100%. 100%. That's why I keep her around. Yeah. Like, she can do all the dangerous <laughs> shit for you. Yeah. I'll be like, babe, babe, is it, is it okay? Am I going to be okay? There's a spider. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I promise. <laughs> babe, there's a spider. Can you kill it? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. I do that all the time. For I, real? Spiders are my spiders are my biggest fear. Dude, oh, there's some big By ass far. spiders in the basement here. Seriously? Oh, big bastards. Like ones that you see in your fucking nightmares. Not up here, they're in the basement. It's nice. Yeah, and, well, there's a vent right here, fool. Yeah, it's hot. Right though. next to me. Dude, it's hot. 
spiders don't like that. They like cool, damp uh, places. That's why we see tarantulas in the the pet store. They got the fog machine. It's real cool. Nah. <laughs> Somebody sponsor so we can get a, a yeah. studio with no, like, you know, floor vents with big-ass spiders yeah. in the basement, okay? I've never seen one up here, so. Yeah, well, now you will, now that you said it. <laughs> I know. It's going to be tonight. It's going to be in my face. All right. So, next topic. Yeah. Did you want to show me something? Yeah, did you, I did. did. Do you have a surprise for me? Um, Possibly. But I think, all right, so it's off a YouTube channel, right? Okay. And the YouTube channel must have gotten taken down because I can't find any of these. Great. Yeah, dude. I am bummed. But I'm going to try one more time. 2000's Butt Rock Compilation. Oh my D- lord. Damn, what is happening? It. Dude, that is a bummer. Dude, I'm so sorry. It's all right, man. That sucks. I, I had a big plan for you. It's There's okay. this video called 2000's Butt Rock Compilation, <laughs> and it's a, of the genre of YouTube video called YouTube Poop, which is my favorite genre. It's where they take stuff and they just refuculate it and make it sound like they're saying something they're not really saying. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Well, uh, one of the songs was Dickleback Porn really? Star. Really? Yeah, Dickleback Porn Star, not Rock Star, <laughs> Porn Star. Okay. And like the the chorus is, we all just don't want to be gay porn stars. Yeah. Yeah. That's it? That was- <laughs> no, no, there's a, there's a whole compilation. It's real fun. Oh, gotcha. Okay. One of them is uh, In the End by Linkin Park. Love it. And you know, like in the, the bridge where he's like, I put my yeah faith, right? I put my- or Trust. Trust, yeah. Well, they, they, they switched <laughs> it around. And he says, I put my deck in <laughs> you- <laughs> Pushed okay. as far, <laughs> dude. Fuck! I wish I could show you, dude. That's such a bummer. It's all I'm right. gonna find it and I'm gonna show him again some other time. Yeah, let's do that. If you can find it, find it. 2000s <laughs> butt rock compilation. That's with a U. So, I'm sorry. No, I, you're. I dude, came up you're empty-handed. Fine. You're fine. It's, but it's totally okay. This is what this is what happens when you use technology. Yes. Sometimes you find it. Sometimes you don't. I should have found it beforehand. I just assumed it would always be there. <laughs> That's the crappy thing with yeah. YouTube, bro. But I can I can follow it up with another shit story if you'd like. Run it. Okay. Um this one This involves... is all about embarrassing stories, yes. man. All about shit in your pants. Yes. And pre coming to a fucking teacher picture. Wait, what? Yeah, I I'd never done that. No, I, just... I thought he was about to go into something. No, I was just throwing something but, out there. <laughs> so this is winter two thousand eight or two thousand nine. Okay. I was 19. Me, a couple buddies. One of them was our, our buddy Cam. We're walking in a blizzard around Fremont, walking to the bike trail. And like, dude, I just had the urge to go. I just had to go. And I was like, fuck, we're so far away. We walked here. You know, my you house shit is in the like, snow. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so we're on the bike trail. You know, the bridge that goes across the river. I was like, damn, dude. I was like, I called my aunt. I was like, aunt, can you send your boyfriend to come get me? I got to go to the bathroom. He said, aunt. Does she have a name? (laughs) Aunt Jen? (laughs) Hey, aunt. (laughs) Hey, yo, aunt. What you doing in that hill? Aunt Hill. Hey, come get me, aunt. (laughs) Yeah. And she's like, I'm out of town. I was like, fuck. And I was like, dude, I'm about to shit in this tunnel. You know the bike trail tunnel? Mm Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't got nothing to wipe with. It's all snow. Like, I can't use snow because it's just going to melt and go through my fingers, you know? So a good friend of mine, I already mentioned his name, but I'm not going to out him like that, but he donated his socks. <laughs> and this man saved my life that day because I went. Well, hold on. Wait, wait. Time out. I need to know. Did you put, did you place the sock like a puppet? Oh, you know I did. Like, and then just, just kind of scoop it out with your fingers. Dude, I wish they made disposable socks like that because that's How the way to do it. How bad ass would that be? It would be clean ass. <laughs> It would be clean That's ass. That's what it'd be. But he donated his socks. What what and what kind of socks? Hanes, Reebok. I don't know. He always wore like nice shit, so it was probably like Under Armour or something, or like Nike. Wow. Yeah, those are some like, nice socks. It was him. Yeah, it's that guy back there. Shout out to Cam. Hey. Give me, give me, a, <laughs> hey Cam, give me a thumbs up if it was a name brand sock. 
<laughs> oh, we got two thumbs uh, up. Yeah. Okay, okay. He donated two of them. It wasn't just one. Oh, both of them. Okay. You know you can't get it done with one. Right. You can't get it, especially with a sock. But dude, so I had to go something fierce. Dude. Right. Like, I had right. to go. Been there. And I go and, like, prop my back up against the tunnel, right? <laughs> I'm in the middle, about so the middle. So you're wall sitting. And dude, yeah, wall sitting. Pants wall are, shitting. Yeah, wall <laughs> shitting is a new sport. You heard of planking? You know where you like plank on stuff? Yeah, I know. I know. I was trying to think of a name, to, yeah. but it's never wall mind. shitting. Wall shitting. It's a new workout. <laughs> but <laughs> Cam's got the specs on. But uh, so I'm, I had to go real bad, and so as soon as I propped up against that wall, dude, it was like a fucking cannon going off. It's like <gasps> just splattered, slammed out of there. Like, dude, and it was so dense. You know, like, <laughs> plops on the, especially in the dead of winter. Yeah, it sounded like that. Yeah. <laughs> like it was heavy, man. <laughs> like I must have been eating a lot of like real hearty stuff. Chili. <laughs> and I was like, cool, you know, it'll wash away in a while. Right. So fast forward to the summertime, we go back through the tunnel, and I'll be damned if my pile of shit isn't still <laughs> sitting there. Oh my God. And it sat there. The stain and all that stuff, it sat there for at least what, two, three years? <laughs> Cause like you got to think it's in a tunnel. There, uh-huh. there ain't no rain getting in there. there <laughs> it's just wind. So it was like a little wind swept, like the the Sphinx. You know, it's got like the wind erosion. Holy shit, dude! Hold on. Yeah, holy shit. Why didn't you lead off with that story instead of the cigarette? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta <laughs> you gotta prime people. But it gets better, Dan. I mean, the cigarette one was great too. But I'm just saying that. <laughs> Dude, I don't understand. I mean, I, I mean, I understand. Trust me, yeah. I, I shit my pants at Cedar Point, but <laughs> like, wow, you Dude. could not wait. Isn't there a no. porter potty like not too far Dude, down? It was in the middle of a blizzard. We wanted to go out in the blizzard. Oh, it was you fun. said blizzard. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you got to okay. think it happened in the winter time, so that like preserved it. And there's no elements getting in there, so like it ain't washing away. Unreal, Dude. Let me tell you, and uh, about. I don't know, a couple of years later, we're there again, but it's in the summertime. And I was like, I had to go again, dude. And I was like, fuck it, I already like broke the ice. You did it twice? So nice, I did it twice. <laughs> dude, and that skid mark stayed there for I don't know how long, too. <laughs> oh, my God. I think the second time I used my own socks, though. So, oh, excuse me. If uh, anybody... That's in any official capacity in Fremont hears this, just act like he didn't. Wow. And wait, no, prove it. All I did was tell a story. It could be fake for all you know. <laughs> you did it. Tw- did you do it Dude, in the same spot? Same spot. Right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> I am proud of you. Dude. I am fucking proud of you for that. So we went from him being super poop shy to me. Just not giving a hell at I'll all. I'll poop anywhere. Like, oh, I'm gonna wall sit. It's fine. Oh, this looks like a good place to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, once once you once you do it, it's so freeing. It's like I used to call it a jungle poop when I was a kid. If you poop outside, freeing, huh? Yeah, we used to play in the woods and stuff. Did so you I'd... shit out? See, I've never oh, shit yeah. outside. I've never shit outside. Dude, once you do, well, oh. I mean, I guess I have just in my pants. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not where you're supposed to. Yeah, but. not where I was supposed to. But dude. Going camping and stuff like that, hiking and all that. Like, there ain't no bathrooms out in the wilderness. Okay. Speaking of that, I, I just picked up hiking this past- uh, Really? Yeah, this past uh, fall. I never would have expected you hiking. Like, like well, staying overnight and stuff or just like no, day hikes? No, just day hikes with Anna. Yeah. yeah, just me and her just, you know, we'll just go out when we have free time and just enjoy nature, you know, get off well, our phones. Like, we'll take pictures and stuff, yeah. obviously, but- I don't know, man. There's something about it, uh, but I have thought about that. Like we were on this cliff, uh, back in the fall, and I'm like, man, my stomach's kind of hurting. I hope I don't have to poop, you know. So see, where you say I hope I don't have to poop, I'm like, I hope I have to poop because this is fun. No, dude, dude what the hell is wrong dude, with you? You feel like you're an, you're an animal, Dan. Whether you know it or not, or like it or not, you're an animal. I'm when a, you poop outside, you connect. I'm a Danimal. You connect with Mother Earth. You're Danimals. <laughs> I can't shake it. <laughs> Damn <No>. it. <laughs> he, he said that. Yep, he Damn did. Damn it. 
<laughs> Danimals. Danimal. But dude, let unleash your Danimal next time you're hiking. Just be like, hey, babe, hold down the fort. I'm going to that tree over there. If anybody walks by, just look the other way like you're looking at something. That way they don't well, look towards me. Well, see, I usually, I, well, I have, I have a, a, a to go bag mm-hmm. full of my weed stuff. Oh, I thought you were about to say doggy bags. Like no, the poop, no, dog no. Shit bags. But like, you know, I haven't done it yet uh, because I, I actually don't know why. Oh, I had my pen. I had my pen. So I was just like kind of ripping my pen, you know, yeah. just kind of up and down these trails. But I, I have this to go bag where it has all my papers, my rolling stuff, a little like jar a of weed. Kit. Yeah, like a little tool toolkit for like rolling joints and stuff. So that's my goal when it comes to hiking this uh this spring and yeah. summer and stuff. I want to like go out and do like stony adventures, you know? I'll take you to some cool places. Yeah, dude. Like I want to go like sit on a bench or sit on a big ass log and just just think about life. Remember when I shit my pants at suit? <laughs> I could have handled that differently. Damn it. You know, I love skateboarding. Don't you? I do. I love it. Dude, like, I find myself pushing, kicking, hollying, <laughs> kick, flip, kick flipping. But, dude, check this out. Yeah. Do you know where I got this? these wheels from? Where'd you get them from? These bearings? These rails? These trucks? That's a nice setup. This deck? This Slayer hardware by Independent? Do you know where I got it? Where'd you get it from? Rhino Skateboard Shop Company, 1472 East State Street, Fremont, Ohio, 43420. No way. Dude. Yeah. Same here. Dude, I think everybody should go there to buy their skateboarding stuff. I got my trucks, wheels, bearings, hardware, deck, grip tape, everything that you see here from Rhino Skateboard Shop. That's right. 1472 East State Street, Fremont, Ohio, 43420. Be there or be square. It's totally up to you, but make sure you go and buy a skateboard or any skateboarding accessory. We'd like to thank Rhino Skate Shop for sponsoring this podcast. The Jam with Brock and Dan. I'm Brock. I'm Dan. Right back to the show. Remember when that kid walked in on me in fucking Boston, Massachusetts? It was in Boston? Yeah, Boston. when I used to tour. Oh. Some fucking kid at Denny's, dude. I swear to oh, God. You're everything Denny's? I was shitting at Denny's. Some kid just goes. What you do? Walks right under the stall and goes, hi. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, hey. <laughs> dude, speaking of that, this relates to hiking. So I stayed at the Mohican State Lodge, which Love is like it. the yeah, yeah, the state Love it. hotel there. Mm-hmm. And I was down in the lobby about to check out, or just checked out, and I was like, oh, I'm going to you know, drop a load off before we hit the road. <laughs> so I go in there, and I'm doing my business. It's going good. I take my time. I don't know about everybody else, but like, I like sitting there, and I really like getting the zone. Yeah. You know, I do my business. Well, someone knocks on the stall. Mind you, I'm the only one in there. I was like, occupied. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. That's what yeah. you're supposed to say. Occupied. Not two seconds later, I see... Fingers come up over the top. Uh Uh-uh. And some old dude look at me. What? Like, occupied. (laughs) So, okay. So, embarrassing stuff has happened to you. I I mean, I wasn't embarrassed. I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? (laughs) Oh, I would have been embarrassed, man. I wiped. I went out there. I I embarrass easy, though. (laughs) Like, I don't give a fuck what it is. Somebody, Anna could sing in, in public next to me, and I'm embarrassed. Really? Oh, yeah. Just secondhand embarrassment? Secondhand embarrassment. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good... Yeah, that's a good one. Dude. Because that's literally what it is. Anyways, yeah. go on. Old oh. man's looking at you. Yeah, I was like, Occupy, what the fuck? You know, and then he dipped out. So I, you know, fast, you know, interrupted my piece. So, you know, I did my business, wiped up, <laughs> went out there, looked for the guy, you know, like head on a swivel. Yeah. Where's he at? Yeah, I couldn't he find knows. him. So I went up to <laughs> he the... He knows I was shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, he... He knew I was in there. Yeah. So, like, he wanted to look, but I go up to the front desk. I was like, hey, I was in there going to the bathroom, and some old guy looked over the stall and was, like, looking at me. I was like, do you see an old guy around here? You know, I was going to go fucking confront him. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right. And they're like, no, we didn't see anybody. It was empty out there. They had to have seen him. I bet you it was someone that works at the lodge, and they wanted to peek at someone pooping. Time traveler. Yeah. He was a time traveler. Maybe it was a sign. Oh, my God. Like was change he ba- your was life. Was he bald? Yeah. It was you. It was me in the future. Oh, 
my. It was me. See, your your future self will come to visit you from time to time. Unbelievable. This is where it gets metaphysical here on The Jam with Brock and Dan. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap it up. Wrap it before you <laughs> end the show. Wrap it before you crap it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main thing is use those locks, people. Yeah, use the locks. If Even someone if, walks in on you and tries to like put toilet paper behind you, just tell somebody. Which is Get why. Get fired. It's why they need to like make it like completely enclosed, not have the upper gap and the lower right. gap. And if you ever go to Cedar Point and you need uh you need to shit and you feel like shit in your pants, make sure you have some spandex on so it yeah. just stays in there, okay? Yes. This has been the jam with Brock and Dan. I'm Brock. I'm Dan. And thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Um this is episode one. We talked about a lot of uh poop. A lot of shit. And it seems to be the running theme if someone talks to me is somehow shits get get brought up. Right. So, so if you guys have any embarrassing stories, we want to know about them. Yeah. Uh, leave it in the comment. DM us. Whatever you feel like. Let us know. And uh, thank you to everybody who's been a part of this, uh, getting this going. It took us a while to get to where we're at now. We think yes. it's pretty good. It's we got a, a good team work. behind us. Yep. Shout out to Dalton. Dalton Harp. Yeah. Guy's a, a wizard when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the, out there saying words I never even heard before. Right, he's the one behind the camera running it all. So it's got run out time. I was like, yeah, dude, yeah, run out time. <laughs> run yeah. out time. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What I know exactly what that is. I mean, I had some runoff time at Cedar Point. Well, yeah, he had the know. runs. <laughs> so run all right, well, it's been a great time. It's been the jam with Brock and Dan. Have a good night. <laughs>